Hey guys, today we're going to talk about twitching underneath the left eyelid. Okay, don't ask me why it's on the left side. Normally it could be on the right side, but most of the time it's underneath the left eyelid. Sometimes it's on the arm, sometimes it's in another part of the body. All right, so what is this? This is called tetany. It's an excitable nerve where the nerve is twitching. Now, if you do a search on this, uh, you'll see a lot of people are getting rid of this condition by just taking apple cider vinegar, okay? So I'm gonna explain why that works and why sometimes it will not work, okay? Um, the two main causes of tetany is low calcium and alkalosis. It means your blood is a little too alkaline. Normally your blood is alkaline, but it's just a little out of range. Now, when you have someone that has tetany uh, twitching, uh, it's kind of like a little red flag or a little clue that there's something going on in the body that's not right. There's an imbalance of something. Um, I have found that when you give a person more calcium, it doesn't seem to get rid of this condition, okay? So, uh, however, taking apple cider vinegar does work very well, and I'm gonna just talk about why that is. First, let's talk about the potential reasons why you might have low calcium. Now, it could be uh, rarely a parathyroid problem. In other words, if you have tetany and you do all the things that I'm gonna tell you and it still doesn't go away, go to your doctor, get checked, and they might find a parathyroid problem. It's rare, but it's a possibility. So what can cause low calcium? Well, taking too much magnesium, okay? Because calcium and magnesium work together. So if you take too much of one, the other one actually goes down. Maybe you're taking Epsom salts. I don't know. It could be any, any number of things. Uh, or you're, you're too low in vitamin D. If you're low in vitamin D, you're not going to be able to absorb calcium. Vitamin D helps... Uh, improve the absorption of calcium by 20 times in the small intestine. Okay, then we have low dietary calcium. Let's say, for example, you don't do dairy. Well, you can also get your calcium from leafy greens. Let's say you're doing no greens and no dairy. That could be one of the reasons why you're low in calcium. There's other reasons, but those are the most common. Okay, now what about this thing, alkalosis? Normally the pH of the blood is within a very narrow range between 7.35 and 7.45. Seven being neutral, okay? And when you go up in numbers, above neutral, okay? Greater than seven, you're getting more alkaline. Anything below seven, you're going more acid. So with alkalosis, it's above 7.45. What happens if your pH is above that you start getting spasms, cramps, tetany, and there's a whole series of other issues that could happen. And the other point I wanna bring up is that calcium is mobilized in the body. It's absorbed in the body with an acid pH in the stomach. So if you don't have enough acid in your stomach, okay, that could be one cause of alkalosis, and that could be one reason why you're not absorbing the calcium, okay? That's actually a very common reason. So let's say you have low stomach acid. How do you know if you have low stomach acid? Well, you get indigestion, you get bloating, you get acid reflux, you get GERD. Those are all symptoms of actually low stomach acid. And one of the things that can lead to is alkalosis and eventually tetany. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give you an understanding of what's behind certain things so you don't just automatically take your outside of vinegar, get rid of the tetany, and not really understand what's really going on. Okay, vomiting, laxatives can cause this as well. Low potassium can also cause alkalosis. Okay, how do you become low in potassium? It could be you're not consuming enough vegetables. It could be your carbohydrates are too high. You're eating too much sugar. Okay, that's a common thing. And then we also have high cortisol, which could also cause alkalosis. How do you get too much cortisol? By stress, okay? In which case, you need to get more sleep, you need to go for long walks, you need to remove the stress in your life as much as possible. So what you want to do, if you get a symptom like this, is you want to kind of run through all the possibilities and see what's really behind it. Is it that you, it's winter time and you just need vitamin D? That could solve it just like that. Is it more your stomach acid? Is it stress? Do you need to start eating more vegetables? Are you taking a laxative? Maybe you should fix the reason why you have constipation. Uh, or let's say you're bulimic and you're vomiting. Okay, so now you understand like why you have this condition.
So anyway, I wanted to just uh, create this video to show you what's behind this very common symptom so you can actually find out the root of it and fix it. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?